Hello and welcome everyone to our second episode of Tech Test Day series. My name is Eddie Scraba and I'm a lead penetration tester at SmartTech and I'll be showing you some interesting and technically advanced cyber attacks. I reveal the consequences of being compromised by such attacks. In today's episode we will be doing an USB attack which although it is usually running like a charm on every computer it requires some direct access to the victim's device. This access is successfully performed with the help of social engineering techniques. Mr. Stark has hired us to test the security of his news facility. Every computer in the network has the latest antivirus software installed and the network is protected by an intrusion detection system. After conducting some tests we discovered that there is no possibility to break through the firewalls remotely, so we decided we will try to attack the facility from the inside. The following scenarios showed that although companies believe they have the best security tools in place and their system is bulletproof, weakness are always there. Every USB device has a microchip which can be programmed to do anything we want. The microchip is very small, thus it can be hidden in a pendrive-like device. A custom crafted board can even make it possible to hide it in a USB cable. We have prepared a bunch of our bad USB devices with different labels. We plan to drop them somewhere near the facility and with some luck also inside the perimeter. Their job is simple, to make a reverse connection to our command and conquer server which will try to dump some sensitive information. We've dropped some USB in the parking lot and near the office. The facility security is tight but we've created some fake newspaper ID and one of our pen testers has pretended to be a journalist wanting to make an article about the new facility for the local newspaper. Usually people tend to easily trust simple stories and would never think of the worst case consequences. This allowed us to easily deliver some USB into the facility. Now we just have to monitor our command and conquer servers and wait until the curiosity killed the cat. The attack may run immediately after plugging the USB in, or it may be delayed. The key thing here is that it is not recognized by the antivirus software, and with some luck it may not be even noticed by the victim. Once we have our connection to the victim computer, we can run some basic tools. We can try to dump some passwords, search for some interesting files or capture some screenshots of the desktop. We can even turn the microphone on and wiretap every conversation in the room. The possibilities are just limitless.
The attack has been successful. It turned out that we got someone from the finance department with access to finance information and credit card details. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. The facility is big and we can try to escalate the attack further. I hope you all enjoyed this episode and discovered that USB drives are really not secure. If you would like to know if your company is at risk of any modern cyber attacks, contact our pen testing team and we will help you prepare the best testing scenario that will suit your needs.